Jessa Duggar and her husband Ben Seawold are renovating and moving into a church home, as the stars have dumped their savings into the remodel following counting on's cancellation. Jessa has shared her home remodeling journey with a series of videos as she prepares to move into a new house with her husband Ben Seawold and their four children. The Sun can exclusively reveal first photos of the four-bedroom, two-bathroom home. The home is still in the renovation stages as the outside has low wallpaper. The house has new windows and French doors. Photos show the home is located directly next to Emmanuel Baptist Church, where Ben works as a pastor. Arkansas property records reveal the house is still owned by the church located in Springdale. The home was built in 1950 and the church purchased the abode in 1985. Before the renovation, the home was 1,326 square feet and had three bedrooms. In Jessa's YouTube video, she showed off the home before renovations. She revealed they are adding a fourth bedroom to be the master suit. This will make the abode 2,000 square feet, which is double the amount of room they have in their current home. Jessa revealed their plans to open the walls separating the living room from the kitchen and dining room to make an open floor plan. She explained the bathroom and kitchen will be a good job as the hardwood floors in the other rooms are in good condition and will be stained. Jessa also revealed her plans to take down the ceiling tile throughout the house and add recessed lighting. She also showed footage of her brother Jason, who is leading the project, and his team on demo day. The ex-reality star revealed, We are dumping a decent amount of our savings into this, but we feel like it'll suit our needs for years to come, so for that it's worth it. In the second video, Jessa showed off a lighter color to stain the hardwood floors and gray tile for the bathrooms and laundry room. For the kitchen, she went with a light wood for the cabinets and a marble design for the countertops. Jessa also showed off her fireplace, which she explains will have a clean design and not be too overly complicated. She then showed off a home app to give fans an idea of how the finished product will look. The kitchen will also have an island with seating that opens to the dining room and living room. Jess and Ben are living in their current Arkansas house as they wait for renovations to finish. They are upgrading their Arkansas home before likely putting it on the market. The Sun previously reported Jess and Ben filed an easement on December 27th in the amount of $1 to allow the city of Fayetteville to cross over onto their property for the purpose of construction, maintenance, repair and or replacement, enlargement and operations of general utilities including water and or sanitary sewer pipelines or lines, manholes and more. Jess and Ben are allowed to fully use and enjoy the premises while the construction is taking place. The couple bought the home from her late grandma Mary Duggar for $100,000 in June 2017. The Sun previously posted photos of the abode that is right off the Interstate 49 highway. There is also a busy intersection outside of the house that is located on the corner of the block. While there is a fenced backyard, there is no fence in the front yard where Jess often posts photos and videos of the children playing. A source told the Sun, Ben and Jessa usually park their car in the driveway right next to the front door and have the kids enter the home that way. Jessa and Ben are parents to sons Spurgeon and Henry and daughters Ivy and Fern, who was born in July. The home upgrade before potentially selling comes at the perfect time. The life change comes as family TLC reality show Counting On was cancelled in May 2021 after her brother Josh's arrest for CP charges in April. The Sun previously reported the family is expected to lose $850,000 a year after the show's cancellation. A source told The Sun at the time, the family was roughly paid $80,000 for each chunk of filming, and some seasons were longer than others but they were picking up on average $850,000 a season. I think a lot of people will be shocked to learn they were earning that much, and it all went to Jim Bob who invested some of it for the family and handed the rest out. But there were often arguments about payments, who deserved what and whether people were being paid correctly for their time on air. That was a major issue over the years. Some family members are glad TLC pulled the plug so they can go off on their own and manage their own money, but Jim Bob is undoubtedly pissed because it was a huge income. Reports also claim Jessa was fired from an Instagram partnership earlier this month because of her controversial views. Josh was found guilty of possessing and receiving CP on December 9th. Josh was immediately handcuffed and taken into custody at Washington County Jail where he was placed in solitary confinement away from other prisoners for his safety until his sentencing. He faces 20 years in prison for each of the two counts. 
The Sun previously reported Josh's legal team filed a motion for an acquittal of the guilty verdict. If both are denied by the court, his legal team is asking to dismiss count two, which is the possession of CP charge. In the alternative, the court papers also request a new trial. The government fought back by requesting the judge to deny the appeal. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.